electricity is all around us. It is an essential element in our daily lives. Nearly everything we do is connected in electricity. On the job side, working around electricity can be very safe when workers properly identify and control hazards. If hazards are ignored, electricity can strike out and its effect can be devastating. Most of these incidents and fatalities were caused by direct worker contact with overhead power lines and contact with machines, tools, and hand-carried metallic objects. So how do we protect ourselves against these dangers? Here are seven of the most common electrical hazards in the workplace and tips on what you can do to mitigate these risks. Number one, overhead power lines. Overhead powered and energized electrical lines have high voltages, which can cause major burns and electrocution to workers. Remember to maintain a minimum distance of 10 feet from overhead power lines and nearby equipment. Also, safety barriers and signs must be installed to warn nearby non-electrical workers of the hazards present in the area. Number 2. Damaged Tools and Equipment Exposure to damaged electrical tools and equipment can be very dangerous. Do not fix anything unless you are qualified to do so. To really check for cracks, cuts, or abrasions on cables, wires, and cords. In case of any defects, have them repaired or replaced. Lackout tag out procedures should be performed at all times before commencing electrical maintenance and repairs. Lackout tag out procedures are there to protect all workers on a work site. Number 3. Inadequate wiring and overloaded circuits. Using wires with inappropriate size for the current can cause overheating and fires to occur. Use the correct wire suitable for the operation and the electrical load to work on. Use the correct extension cord designated for heavy duty use. Also, do not overload an outlet and use proper circuit breakers. Number 4. Exposed Electrical Parts Examples of exposed electrical parts include temporary lighting, open power distribution units, and detached insulation parts on electrical cords. These hazards can cause potential shocks and burns. Secure these items with proper guarding mechanisms and always check for any exposed parts to be repaired immediately. Number 5. Improper Ground the most common occupational safety and health act electrical violation is the improper grounding of equipment. Proper grounding can eliminate unwanted voltage and reduce the risk of electrocution. Never remove the metallic ground pin as it is responsible for returning unwanted voltage to the ground. Number 6. Damage Insulation Defective or inadequate insulation is a hazard. Be aware of damage insulation and report it immediately. Turn off all power sources before replacing damage insulation and never attempt to cover them with electrical tape. Number 7. Wet Conditions Never operate electrical equipment in wet locations. Water greatly increases the risk of electrocution, especially if the equipment has damaged insulation. Have a qualified electrician inspect electrical equipment that has gotten wet before energizing it. One of the important considerations facing these electrical hazards was the proper wearing of personal protective equipment or PPE. Common PPE requirements on job sites include cotton or fire resistant pants, a cotton or fire resistant shirt, electric shock resistant or static dissipative footwear type 1 and 2 class ENG protective headwear 
additional high visibility clothing, safety glasses, and work gloves. As with any task on the job site, you should never attempt to perform work without the proper training and experience. Only qualified personnel should be involved in the operation. Inadequate training, lack of experience, and failure to recognize potential hazards could result in electric shock or death. Knowing your limits and applying the best electrical safety practices can help reduce the risk of electrical shock and death. It is safer to work within your scope of expertise instead of taking the risk of working beyond your capacity. If you are not confident to do the job, don't hesitate to call for help from an authorized person. Always consider safety as the number one priority.